Hey, it's Chris Nichols here from Boger Trout Fitters. We are going to start off with some glass beads on RX size 14 curved nymph hook. What we're tying today is a variation of the Tim's Boatman. So I've got my six aught thread loaded on. We're going to start by tying in a section of midge flash. This has smaller uh, sections of flash and I really like it to look like bubbles. We're going to put a layer of thin skin now on here, nice and thin. You got to size it for the fly that you're going to tie. We're going to tie that right over the midge flash. And now we're going to go with a mylar pearl or like a magnum flash shabu or lateral scale. We're just going to tie that into the top. You got to make sure you get the order right. You need to have the flash on top of the thin skin and that on top of the midge flash. You want these all to be lining up right on top of each other. And now we're going to tie them down onto the hook. Now, as you're tying these down, you have an opportunity to readjust them and make sure that they're facing straight straight back and on top. And we're gonna tie our thread down and this is gonna determine the length of our body on this Boatman patterns. You don't want them to be too long. So you can see I'm stopping right at the curve. Now we're gonna dub on some ice dub. I'm going with black ice dub here, but you can experiment with Boatman patterns in browns or tans. Those all work really, really well. Now, when I wrap the dubbing onto the thread here, I am using wax and really on a Boatman pattern, I don't want it to be too buggy. I wanna have a fairly thin silhouette. I'm gonna wrap it up the hook here and I'm gonna make a taper so that it gets a little bit thicker towards the head of the bead. Now we're gonna pull that pearl flash forward. We're gonna lock it down just with a couple of wraps. Be frugal here. We don't wanna build up too much of a head yet. Then we're gonna pull the thin skin forward and it's gonna cover that pearl back. What's really cool is the pearlescent flash underneath is gonna show through the thin skin just in the transparent parts and it really makes it look very natural and very buggy rather than just having a flashback on its own which can look a little bit garish. I like to fold things back here and lock them down with a couple more wraps that just make sure they're not gonna slip out on you. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clip that off. Now the midge flash coming out of the tail, we're gonna let that go off the back of the fly. We're gonna chop that down later. Now we're gonna tie in legs. You can use anything, sexy floss or centipede legs, but I actually like flexi floss because it's got a natural curve which follows along the fly and really looks like boatman oars, so to speak. So I've tied those down on both sides. Make sure they don't stick up too far off the back. Now we're just gonna do a tiny bit more dubbing just to cover up our work there and make a nice little collar, as you can see there. Then we are gonna whip finish the fly and we're gonna lock it down. Now, what we've done here with this fly is we haven't really added any weight. The glass bead doesn't add much weight. There's no lead. You certainly though could use a tungsten bead and lead if you wanted this thing to drop like a stone. But I actually like boatman patterns when they have some buoyancy. Boatmen are great flies that you can strip across the surface of the water or just under the surface you could certainly put this in a nymph rig and the split shot would bring it down and it would just have a lot of movement because of that buoyancy but feel free to weight it heavy if you want to use it as a dropper underneath a hopper for example hope you guys enjoyed this fly thanks so much for joining us remember you get all the materials at bovertroutfitters.com